Hi! Um, gonna get started here. Um, gonna be playing Iconoclast today. Um, give me a second to get set up here. Show up. Hi! Oh, good to see you. Hey, King Wagman. Okay. Let me relabel the stream here, make sure it says Iconoclasts. Hey, Saul Carlos. Okay, I'll see you then. Hey, Saul Carlos. Okay, I'll see you then.
Uh, yeah, give me a second. I think I have to go back to the game. There we go. Should be, should be streaming. We should be on the title screen now. There we go. Okay, we got audio. So this is Iconoclast. It's a game by jo Joaquin Sandberg, um, made by one person over the course of about ten years, I think. Um, really, it's it's a masterpiece of the Metroidvania kind of format. Um, The creator's best known for um, work they did over the years at, uh, I think, Way Forward, the company behind Shantae. But uh, I think he mostly does uh, like contracting work to do sprite work for them. But he did the um, um, Noitu Love games. Um, prior to this, um... So the premise here is, we're on an alien planet, um, where there's a, a theocratic dictatorship, and everyone is assigned a job. Um, and it's illegal for them to do any other job. Everybody worships something called the Star Worm. But uh, Robin here is our main character. She wants to be an engineer like her father. Wants to be a mechanic. So she fixes stuff um, behind everyone's backs. Behind the government's back. So we're just going to start out by going for a leisurely stroll here. You notice in this world, all the plants are square for some reason. They all have these angles. Everything looks really weird. Well, it turns out... Uh, everything's fueled by a substance called ivory. That makes everything grow weird. Hmm. So this house got destroyed by something, some kind of disaster. So we're going to check on our neighbors here.
So these creatures just come out of the earth and sky and destroy, have been destroying entire neighborhoods. Um, and the the church, as it turns out, has been saying that they're it's divine retribution. We're about to find out about that shortly. I am kind of curious how exactly Robin gets her ponytail to look like a wrench. Hi, Pyropus. Alright, so here's the one concern. They, uh, serve the government. They have these special agents that are immortal. They can't be killed. Oh, yay. She's here. I'm Agent Black, and this is my partner, Agent White. Now, let's see here. Says the file, named Robin, age 17, status, soul house resident. No assigned occupation, daughter of Paul Rowe, mechanic for the concern who died two months ago, leaving his daughter living alone. Well, that's your backstory out of the way. Time to get a job, right? Rumors circulated in the air. They whispered that the mechanic's daughter may be picking up his wrench. Could there be truth to this? The most horrid of accusations. Liar! We've heard things. My head. Well, anyway, reports on Polro's death say he was killed by some unfortunate accident. Well, assets can be replaced. Question is, what things could be passed down to his little darling? What could she do with it? Perhaps she's been running about, fixing the mechanical problems of the poor people in the village like a little heroine of handiwork. There's already been a lot of penance in that settlement. Might you not say you could be part of the reason? Liar! I know your type. <sighs> anyway, private practice is a sin, and a private mechanic far worse. Sinners need to be punished. He, the Almighty, dislikes secrets, and ivory fuel should not be touched by improper hands, like the hands of the mechanic. If we all just chose our profession, nothing in this world would ever get done. He just wants balance, my dear. But, we didn't find any tools in this house. And you only seem to be carrying that tiny excuse for a stun gun. I'm not in the mood for hunting contraband. Settlement 17 has been needing a lot less repairs recently. Somebody's twisting some nuts. Harlan! White, shut up. Something bigger's come up. He's been spotted. Let's go, White. We're gonna have to leave little Robin to her own devices for the hour. Let's hope she waits patiently here. She still has a date with fate. Here's our contraband wrench.
How's everyone doing today? Yeah, those stomps are strong. Good to hear. It's a little odd. Twitch isn't telling me I have is telling me I have no viewers right now. Oh well. So pretty much all the animals on this planet are going to try to kill me, unfortunately. I kind of wish this game had done a lot better than it did, just because this guy spent 10 years working on it. Really deserved a lot more praise than it got. There we go. Been a while since I played this last, but it's coming back to me.
All right, so here we find Settlement 17. Quiet little farming community. And they have a Church of the One concern here. Always remind yourself of what's important about life and faith. Anything you want to know about? The One Concern. The One Concern exists to keep the heathens from perverting our faith and to enforce his will of a preserved, untouched planet. One Concern agents share the same holy life essence as Mother. Mother is our link between him and ourselves. We pray to her, and she in turn prays to his ear from her prayer chamber in City One. Mother is gifted the power to control the shape of our world, just like the rest of her lineage. Their blood is that of the angels. City One is where you should aspire to live. There is no penance there, but sins will still get you banished back to the outside. The progenarians are the caretakers of our churches, and our local links to Mother. They do not speak outside of sermons. They only listen to our plights. Ivory is the energy that enables all of our technology and electricity. It was bestowed upon us by him to let us lead lives of comfort. Our mechanics and engineers blessed by mother's own hand may touch ivory. The most a commoner can do is handle the ivory batteries handed to them. This person we'll see on occasion throughout the game. Leticia. Nah, I've heard of you. You might have heard of me, but that doesn't matter anymore. You are curious and handy. If you are truly capable, perhaps we can meet again. I believe in you. Leticia is part of a optional side quest that gives you a uh, an optional boss fight. Here we go. This is our sister-in-law, Henretta. Hey, Robin, you look well. I'm glad. Did your brother schedule you again? Henretta, Henretta, yeah. Well, Elro is not home yet, but he might be back at any point. He should have been on work leave three days ago. So, did you hear about the horse eight, uh, house eight and agents running around? I really admire what you're doing, but you really need to start being careful and think about the dangers involved. If you still want to see Elro, you might as well go visit some of your friends in case he doesn't turn up. the ranch to do more damage. Chemico Contra. Working for the one concern Chemico Con uh, company can be pretty conflicting. Me and my sympathizing chemist friends have formed the Chemico Contra. We work in secret to discover a way to power things other than using rare and expensive ivory fuel in the interest of helping people. If we ever meet one another in public, we don't acknowledge each other for the safety of our cause. Right now, though, I can only help you out by lending you my tweak crafting table. <laughs> A lacking capacity to, uh, to hold tweaks is a depressing sight. I do mend such tragedies by Grease Monkey Friend. bar. <laughs> Ivory fuel is becoming stupidly expensive. At this rate, I'll freeze to death once winter rolls around. Girl, I'll light your fire. You just settle down, Benley. Don't lever yourself off your seat. 
Who needs ivory fuel when you can sleep under the stars? Yeah, speaking of that, stop sneaking into my house at night. My couch is filthy. House 8 was trashed yesterday. Mr. Andrus is staying with us now, but Mrs. Andrus got crushed or something. Oh, Robin. This is what the penance does so to those who commit sin. The penance has been more judgmental than before, and it's getting to me. I'm getting a bit paranoid. I'm as devout as I can be, but I still feel me and my daughter could wrong him somehow and be punished. I wish I could earn a place for me and her in City 1. We could finally relax. There's no penance there, and you are safe. I'm helping to clean up around here, in addition to my job, to hopefully earn favor for myself and my daughter. Uh, hello, Robin. Are you here to help somebody again? Mr. Andrus is upstairs praying to Mother to forgive his wife's sins. She died from the rightful penance wrought upon his house. Don't you think it's about time you changed your ways? I know what you're doing, and you can't go on like this forever. Join Mr. Andrus. I can't save your soul for you. Robin, my wife. All she did was search for better spots to simply pick mushroom. Somehow what she did upset him since we were hit by the penance. She drew up a few maps of the same caves. She shared a couple. There's nothing in his scripture about doing that. I will pray for my wife's soul and also my own. I'm trying to understand. Here's my niece. Hi, Robin. Dad's still not back. Maybe his boss made him stay longer again. Man, I'm gonna show you something so awesome. Check it out. I mean, this wrench isn't as awesome as yours, but I bet not even you made the one you have. Pontus! What do you think you're doing? Uh, I don't know. Mr. Andrus is right here in our house. Did you forget why he's even staying here? Well, Robin's fine. I would never want to see you succumb to such a needless demise. Okay, fine. Robin, please leave. You're a bad influence. Here's Elro. Hello, Sunflower. How's the heroine of our house for today? Sorry, but I will have to leave again. I just want to make sure my family has a working house first, you know. I would like to spend some time with you, but uh, you know how the concern is, right? Hey, let's not talk about that, though. Would you be so kind as to take this ivory slip to the progenarian in the church? Even if we fix the problem inside, the damn ramshackle still needs the fuel to make it matter. So, I'm really sorry I can't spend more time with you, Robin. ivory battery. Yeah, living under fascist theocracies suck. Oh, let me look at you, my little beauty. So are you being good? Yes, Dad. Ah, oh, Robin, quick as lightning. Come over here by the hatch. So yeah, this is your thing. I'm as useless as ever. You do your magic, and I'll help if you need it. Moon's looking real ugly right now, though, right? Elro. What is it? You said you have to leave again right away. Why? Oh, well, what do you think? The concern job is forcing me as always. Is your job really that important to the concern? Hey, was that supposed to be an insult? No. Why is Robin here again? Oh, house broken. She's fixing it. Do you want to live in a broken home? Did you see the house ate when you came back? Robin coming around isn't safe for our daughter anymore. 
Ah, uh, why be mean to Robin of all people? I'm not being mean to Robin, I'm afraid for our lives. There's no hiding from the penance. <laughs> like how the penance caught us all the other times Robin helped, you mean? We can't pay for government services anyway with this ivory fuel shortage. Can't you ask to get another job? <laughs> Doing what? I'm pretty damn useless already if your attitude's been anything to go by. It doesn't work like that anyways. You can't just switch jobs. How you doing, Robin? Well, I just care about my family. And I don't? Oh no. Hedonism. Robin, you little rascal. You're doing the thing. And you, Elro. Such insubordination. Woe is us that we partake in such depravity, and so on. So anyway, he respectfully wishes you experience penance within your given home. So don't resist, and you'll be back home in bed before you know it. Just close your eyes and think of Daddy. I guess sin runs in your blood. You infect your community, destroying common sense. <sighs> I need to leave. Access are sealed and ready, ma'am. Whatever. Where's Royal? Uh, he went ahead to Chrome's camp, I think. Oh, good. We're not supposed to be showing him his future domain, uh, dominion anymore, then? I mean, I hate the boy as much as you people, but you're willing to ignore R Mother's wishes for that? I, I don't know I can say no to, ma'am. Please don't hurt me! Assets can be replaced. Please, not the asset! That little royal freak is obsessed with himself. Badly replaced. Egoist! Let's just take Robin to the settlement jail, and we'll let him take care of Elro. She'll spend the night with that noisome freebooter. You know, I really should be able to reprogram these stupid doors by now after so many times. Samba said the yellow wire is key, but I only see an Aurelian wire. Ah, hell with it. I'm putting a seat in there. Screw the risk. Then again, I knew that was going to happen. What, another one? Is the guard a prisoner too? Well, not of seats. Then I was lucky the previous door didn't just turn into a solid tree trunk. What do you wrench with this thing? Hey, you. You're a mechanic, right? That's neat. Think you can open the door over there so we can get out of here? Something wrong? <laughs> well, I guess you're in jail, huh? Don't worry. I could probably get you somewhere safe after we get out. Look, I don't know your story, but staying here will only get you dead. Let's get out of here and show those idiots that can't hold us. Name's Mina, of the pirates, as you guys like to call us. Come on, isn't it more romantic to cry under the stars? Sorry, don't mean to be so rude. Maybe you're just disgusted by me. Sambo always said I need to do something about my smell. But no point in physical strain. If you have something, nothing to show for it, I say. Oh, nice. You probably want that big monster wrench over there, huh? Man, you made that lock way too easy. You got your stuff, but some ass must have taken my dagger with him. Oh, this seems loaded. It's an unbalanced trade, but I call it reparations. Never heard of a stealthy thief carrying a shotgun, but let's try to sneak out with this. Oh, their climate's going through a change, all right, King Wagman. <laughs> hey, it sounds like lots of people in the next room. If we're going to go through the crawl space stuff ahead, we'd better be quiet so they don't hear us moving. Try to only move while they're making a lot of noise.
Sneaking successful. Hey, you're doing awesome. Looks like there's guards everywhere, so we should stay out of their way. I have this pain in my lower back. You think I could have kidney cancer? Now, why would you jump straight to that? Well, the pain's kind of strange, you know? Your hypochondria is getting on my nerves. Yesterday, you had diabetes because your foot fell asleep. Hey, I read on the Ivonet that diabetes is on the uprise. Though. Just leave it, man. Yeah, those jokes were intentionally terrible. I wonder if those jokes were just as bad in Swedish. Let me just take this moment to say that I think we're safe. Hey! Suck on this, looters! Ah! Alright, what you got now, Stompy Stompy Skullbot? Was awesome. We should hang out more. That glass faced soldier thought he could teach us, but he can't touch us. Let's hope that was the toughest we'll have to face. Let's go get, get going up ahead. Got a scooter up ahead. Now we get to visit the pirate base. Turns out the pirates have a religion of their own. Ah, oh, she's still here, my beautiful and reliable water scooter. Well, let's hope it can seat too. Hmm. Well, we're only halfway out of the water. Hey, I'm still here, Slatterns! Move, move! Her mother! I did good today. People? Maybe take them to Captain? Oh, what's this? Found them floating in the water. Unfortunate souls floating lifeless in the night. What horrible events have brushed against your fate. Such young faces likely shipwrecked and left for the microcosms to devour. The thought of their quests unfulfilled is unbearable. Oh well, throw them back in the water again. Chemico Contra. Woo wee! A woman washing ashore like some cliched novel. Well, you won't find your coconut trees here. Nah, she's finally coming around. Well, I guess you're lucky. Whatever happened to you? Shard Wasteland is a harsh place, however, so watch out for the sunburn. Also, there are concerned soldiers all over. Something tells me you don't want to hang out with them. 
Ah, they're here to find pirate cells, I do believe. Don't let them think you're with one. I'll just assume you're aware of us, the Chemico Contra, and I'm aching to satiate all your tweet crafting needs. I love helping! Except I can't help you get out of this desert. Perhaps look around a bit. Be more careful. Nah, well, I'll be in the cave to the right, far of here. Far right of here. Ah. Can't talk today. Can't go down there yet, need a special kind of, uh, grenade. I seem to recall there's a lot of stuff hidden in this desert. Yeah, since Mina's a, a pirate, should I give her a, a thick Welsh sailor accent? Just have her talk like this! Arr! Should I have all the pirates talk like that? You want her to be Irish, okay. Alright, I think I need to have the, the grenades to get up there.
There we go. like a Pokemon, doesn't it? A little bit like Curly Brace, yeah, I think. You're right, she, Robin does look like Curly Brace. More Metallium. All the enemies here look like Pokemon to me. Alright, I need another key. That was not what I was supposed to do. Okay. Man, those things look weird. Can you imagine having eyes on your butt? have excellent heights hindsight. Okay, now I can get up here. Alright, now we can get that key. I think shortly we're going to meet Royal for the first time. Royal is heir to Mother's Throne. Uh, he went through the ivory infusion process and came out without any defects. So rather than being made into a standard agent, uh, he's the next heir to the church. So he believes himself to be some kind of messiah. So 
here. How do I get up there? I don't even... Uh... Hi, Suavocados. So we're going to sneak in here. Hi! Sorry, did I knock you out? And now everyone's going to mistake us for this guy. I think we're the mechanic they hired. Oh man, this heat drives me nuts! Well, you can complain to the top agents when they get here. Damn! Are we scheduled for that already? Besides, I thought General Chrome had authority to run all the operations anyway. Eh, I don't know. They still have authority over him. So maybe they went to check on things? I was told Agent Gray died. What? How's that even possible? No idea. Just don't look Agent Black in the eyes. When is Kurt getting here anyway? Ah! There you are, Kirk. Hey, you're not Kirk. You're a girl. What are you doing here? Oh, so I guess you can help us out then. This minigame is a little difficult sometimes. Yeah, so uh, we need to sort our chemicals for weapon making. My personal favorite is the chemical of triangles. Anyway, our elevator broke and we don't have the spare parts we would need to fix it. All you need to do is crank this nut to raise the elevator. It'll go down again if you stop. My fellow soldier here will go back and forth with boxes, and you need to put them on the floor that matches the icon on the box. When he picks the box, he won't wait. Uh, he won't wait. He'll just keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that. Good luck, and whatever you do, do not mix circle with triangle. Oh, this is dumb. Hurry it up. Boring! Faster! Oops! <laughs> uh, let's try it again. If I do that without screwing up, I think it gets me something, but... Too late now. Made that frowny face a couple times there. enough, I think. 
Since you did so well, I guess I can trust you to deliver back this concussive bomb gun modification to the main camp. Yeah. How did you know how to wrench so well? I could probably never do what you did. This is so unrealistic. Everyone knows triangles are the least explosive shape. Most explosive equals pentagrams. Okay. Yeah, that, that seems about right. I think this is our introduction to General Chrome, who's a real fanatic. I once read an inspiring story in a book from the Precedes. A single man almost managed to bring the world to its knees, were it not for the collective efforts of many nations to prevent it. The segregation of nations let him get as far as he did. I believe the unity of those nations which brought peace symbolized that we should all strive to find a common ground in our own time. Uh, yes. I, I know of that story, and I find it interesting the way you actually chose to compare it to yourself. Besides, history tells us every unity eventually breaks or changes. There is no one person's ideal that suits every single person. Well, don't you believe ideological disagreements only feed the potential of evils to rise? Oh, that's like asking if I believe the wind needs the air to exist. Uh, you are a young man. You need to do more living before you can make educated conclusions. Oh, look upon me and realize that there is finally a chance at conclusion. All I see is a poor, delusional juvenile. His mind is warped by books which he doesn't even know how to read. The two of us will never agree. So are we done here? Well, if we all agree, then there is no conflict. There is always another way to settle a disagreement. <laughs> oh, these people are just idiots. They'll never understand this stuff, General. Ugh, pirates are people like you and me, Tolo. They are just too stubborn to understand what they are causing. Uh, yes, of course. I'm sorry if I said something dumb, General. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. I have no right to try to force my thoughts into your negotiations. Oh, that's about enough, Tolo. Ow, what was that message from the agent? Um... Tolo, get your stupid lover boy General Chrome down to the camp immediately. Black! No need to anger her poor head any further. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's one way to settle an argument, isn't it? So Avocados, have you played this game before? You, you were the one that requested it, right? Oh, that's right. There's. I have to go around the other side. Okay. Ugh. Uh, I asked, have you have you played this one before? I think you were the one that requested this game. I really like this game. Uh, I was kind of glad to see that one requested. Uh, I think we can go this way, right?
Nope, this time that. Yeah, it's, it's a great game. Um, like I was telling uh, King Wagman, you know, th this game was made over the course of about 10 years by a single person. Hoping I'm not missing any of the hidden stuff for now. We can come back here later. A lot of upgrades to be found. Improvium. All right, here's our first encounter with Royal. Oh, these woes. I shall not be your little play toy. They are forcing me into a dreadful existence. No regard for my stripe. Everyone is out to torment me. I am the caged canary, woefully forced to sing during the dinners of noblemen. But this canary shall break out of its macabre coop. Ah! Who are you? Robin? Well, good day to you. I am royal, as is obvious. Um, are you a mechanic with a scouting party? Did you come here looking for me? Well, here I am. You think you could do to make me... What do you think you could do to make me come with you? I'm not going anywhere, though. You treat me like a bird that has to do things. I am my own man. Uh, what are you doing over there? Oh, these flowers? Yes, I was summoning some to grow in here. 
I thought it would look quite striking with the light from outside falling on them. I've read a lot about forgotten flowers in City One's ancient books. I can't seem to recreate them the way they're drawn in those, though. This could use a big finish. Do you actually not know who I am? You are a mechanic, right? Who are you, really? Whoa! I did not make that! Concern member spotted! Expunge! Why, it's a pirate machine! Help me take it out! Oh, thank you, Swabicados. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm trying to make it exciting with the voices. Great work, mechanic. Twas as if the passion of our joint puissance were siphoned through thine stun gun. I shall make a recommendation for your promotion back at camp. I'm not sure where you lost your escort, but I insist I shall take you instead. Otherwise, you can't return to camp, so don't go wandering off alone like this. Alright, now we got some nice tweaks going. Being able to breathe underwater longer will really help later on. Allow me, friend. Ugh. By the try! Oh, that's right, there's a hidden thingy there. I wonder if I can go back and get that. Let's 
see here. I need to use the ricochet from... Yeah, I'll worry about it later. Now is not the time. Faded sister, what troubles you this day? The pirates, where are they? Oh, they continue to hide in their holes, fearing the penance. Then get a shovel and dick. You're supposed to root them out. The suits do nothing to pester me about this now. I've heard from a soldier you have in fact met with several pirates lately. Where are the interrogation reports, Crow? Ah, oh, I have faith that pirates can be reasoned with. A stranger fends for himself, but a friend... Why, well, they fend for you! Let me stop you before any beatnik crows. If that were true, do you tend to have friends that mysteriously disappear? I would have hoped you'd have your baby face sell it back there disappear by now. Uh, I'm sorry! What did I do? Let's stick to truths. The both of us are failed creatures. I know your ambition, but anyone can see how you appear next to Royal. You're participating in a beauty contest, and you're losing. Why, ah, your mind is narrow, Black. People will listen to what is the true chosen voice. Sure. When the voice is fear, they listen. Pre preserving an ideology is an even greater force. So give it up. Ah, the scriptures speak of the ultimate ivory man spawned from... Ah, so angry. I'll shove those old books up your ass. That way you may have enough spine to stand straight for five minutes. Well, the scriptures speak of how repressed emotion can lead to sin and unnecessary anger. Have you even taken the time to mourn yet, Black? Don't touch me, you narcissist. Fate it, brother! Oh, I do believe I spot those miserable agents. I should bring you before them and General Chrome to commend you! Why, where are you going? Don't be shy! Attention, soldiers! The trains have finally arrived from seeing one with more ivory batteries. So for those of us that can't just suck it out of the ground, uh, we can mo finally mobilize some machinery. Uh, except for you, Svensson. Your squad truck was crushed by a pirate machine last night. Ah, nuts. The rest of you give thanks to Mother. Ivory just gets harder to order in. Uh, before we get back to chasing pirate hideouts, there are updates to our global wanted list. First is a man known as Captain Myron, likely born a pirate, wanted for cartography, an extremely vital target. Allegedly, he is planning to travel beyond the continent without any regard for Mother's blessings. Why, hold up! This mechanic deserves your attention! She masterfully took out a pirate machine alongside my divine exertions! Get out of here, Royal! I'm sorry? My men are being addressed. Don't think your little runaway adventures matter more to them. I matter more than any of you! I demand you celebrate this me mechanic's achievements! I'd rather celebrate people I've met before. Who is this person? Right, I don't care. 
Someone a pedestal for her or something, Magic Boy. We'll finish this address now. R right away, General. <laughs> Moving on, the next addition to the wanted list is a fugitive presumed dead, but as it turns out, is still alive. Mechanic Kirk spotted Robin, who was helping other soldiers earlier. The subject is an unblessed mechanic who has been tainting ivory with bare hands. Those soldiers have later claimed they were under a spell from the fugitive's heathen magics. Well, you simplify the process for what's royal. Tolo, fetch our beloved agents. We shall send this child to him. He shall judge the wicked for the sins committed. We beg forgiveness for the immorals of one of our kind. We do not defy his will. Oh, just kill her! You are very frustrated, but do not interrupt the holy recitals. Her face is like a knife cutting into me. I've said enough. Hey, General, maybe we should try that prototype thing on her? We, we really need more mechanics, right? I said to kill her. S sorry Our iteration isn't very functional anyway. I tried it on a pirate. Our better one was stolen. Go on, Royal. Send her down into the earth now. Get on with it, psych boy! He's playing something. Let's just shoot people, okay? Don't no walk in the road of lost. It is written. As he fled, the stolen idol was dropped for acts of sin. Will always remain. No. Follow my words and no! His mind continued to rock since his unblessed hands had once bathed in the purest ivory. As he struck his tool against the pillar, he brought the house down upon them all. I will crush you to the wall, even if it's the last thing I do! Do not worry! I am here to protect you now! I'm sick of all you disrespectful simpletons! Get out of here, Royal! Shut up! Oh dear! Well, that helicopter was a waste of all that ivory. General Crow! Gross, he's all crushed. We salute your passing, sir. Oh! Come on, sir, please!
Solo, we're gonna need to order more ivory again. You sleep a lot, honey. Did you have a nice week? That's nice. You're so talented and beautiful, Robin. You look just like your mother. Are you still reading my engineering books and tinkering with my things? I see. Are you sure you want to? You don't think you'd make for a great settlement farmer? There's still some upkeep involved with being a farmer that you can do on your own. You know that I loved you, right? I always tried my best. I hope you know that. Do you get upset about how I'm not here very much? Please don't. Although it's something that comes with this line of work. If you want to remain safe, maybe you should go have some fun with your brother's family at their anniversary party tonight. You, you do stay home too much. Elro is often home when I'm away. You really should see him more. He always was the funny one. He's doing just fine. Please go see Elro. You know how much your niece, Elo, loves you. If you just settle down for a bit, nothing bad will come to you. Awake, mechanic. Is... is that a pirate coming? Whoa, that train crashed real close. Were you on that thing? How are you alive? Uh. I grabbed this mechanic and tucked and rolled. Are you the one being shot at by that helicopter? Yes. Wait, did you say mechanic? It's her, she made it out of the water. Uh, do you know Robin? Her name's Robin? <laughs> I didn't even know that. Do you have someone to take her to rest? She looks like she'll be fine. Maybe, but I don't know who, don't know who you are. I'm from a settlement near hers. She's a friend. I want to see her all right. Perhaps so. Hmm. I I feel I owe it to help her. Come on then, I'll get her somewhere she can recover and pro and comfort. So you escaped with this girl? Well, she did sweet work of getting out of this, out of that place. Yeah. So why were you there again? I hadn't been there before. My noble quest might have held fruit there. I'd smack you on the head, but it wouldn't help. Feels like you'd do this just to see if I would worry. I asked you to come along, but I know you don't want to. I have the sense to know you're clumsy enough to get caught. You probably put this girl in her situation. Woman, I did not! <laughs> you want me to trust you now? Oh, good morning. My name is Samba. Behind you there is the woman who likely ruined your free life. Hey, I was locked up before her. I wouldn't doubt the power of your negative influence. Ignore her. I'm glad you made it too, Robin. I didn't even know your name before. That guy told me. I'm glad you're making random friends and bringing them straight here. Oh, come on. Are you suggesting that the concern somehow staged a crash full of precious resources to infiltrate some kind of agents? <sighs> that sounds like a leap. But I expect they value their ideology before their resources. Ah, you're just paranoid. You're reckless. I need to go see Mom. Let's catch up over there, Robin. Sorry. Since Mina expects you to know what that means, she just ran to the far right of the level of this complex. Don't you think you should rest some more, dear? Hey, uh, Robin? I swear on my life I'd never want to see those concerned people again. I would never do anything stupid. You can't tell these people who I used to be. Please! I really like the name Dune. But I really want to honor my great-grandfather and name the baby after him. Hmm. Did you tell me his name? Yes, it was Bun-Bun. I think King Wagman said I should do an Irish accent. I'm not sure I can do a very good Irish accent. Hmm. You're a Westerner. 
We could use me more mechanics, or at least specialists, really, but you better watch your step. The breath of the spirits emanates from the round leaf plants. Let our children take in that the strength of the future. Through the expression of our love, we can regrow as a people, and the children we make will be a bring a brighter future. Hmm, who are you? You're from a settlement, aren't you? Sorry, I kind of like Mina on some days, but she can't just bring outside people in here. What are you doing? What do you mean? You know, what are you doing? Nothing. That's cool. I'm actually a bit reserved, a bit nervous whether whether I return home with my mom for several reasons. Want to come home? Uh, come with me? Yes. Okay, thanks. Go in ahead of me. Hey, Ma. Oh, you all back? This is Robin, a friend of mine. You know, John came by again looking for you, Mina. He even offered to take care of me for a while since you're always gone. Mom. He's a very kind man. But why should he even come visit us anymore? You know he likes talking to you. I know. Where were you? Settlement 17, it's in the Black Rock region. And what was there? Why did you go? I don't know. Getting to see more of the world? Why? What is it about seeing the world? Why do you say that? Bye, Suavicados. Uh, hope to see you later. Mom, we have company. And who's she? Another person from the outside? You keep running around with other people. You really do hate taking care of me. Oh, come on. Stop thinking you're totally helpless. I don't feel like talking anymore right now. Fine with me. Leave my home. You can notice that in this picture here, in the background, the father is uh, conspicuously covered up by the ivies. I recognize these plants. I hope to die without unfinished business. My spirit lingering shouldn't have to be a burden to my descendants. It gets real cold if you're at the bottom of town, but it's real hot at the top, so I just stay here. My mother recently died. I feel I must honor her, so my thoughts drew me to this statue again. Hey, buddy! These kind folks let me research here with them. So want to borrow my tweet crafting table? Only people we've never, uh, we've ever really gotten to put in here have been occasional drunkards. Whoa! We have our factories and laboratories for deeper down this lake. I think I panic being that far underwater. I'm not opposed to Westerners coming here and learning our ways of life. We need love. I keep being told to respect ancestors, but my grandpa would always yell at me, so why should I? The factories deeper in the lake are our lifelines against the concern.
I like Robin's uniform. The cuffs are sort of funny. Wow, your hair is crazy! Where's Shia now? Ah, I got Doris to babysit her again. Oh, that crone is bad influence. She won't stop busting my ass because I don't wear shirts. Like, who cares? Well, to like, put on a shirt. Oh, you don't look like you're from around here. I'm not from here originally either. I had to run away. Um, do you get around much? Because the person who would deliver my letters died, and there's this guy who lives in Settlement 17 I want to keep talking to. Could you please, please try and deliver a letter for me? Thanks. Here's the letter. His, his house is House 10 in Settlement 17. Just don't let them make you question who you are. Oh, you're back. Why don't you talk a bit about seeds with Robin? Might get your mind off. Oh, let me see if I remember how to do a Scottish accent. Oh, this is my favorite book. It's about seeds we found in the submerged vessel. Oh. The divine vessel far below us carries the words of our first ancestors coming to the world. We've learned so much from that. Unfortunately, most records about right after that arrival is gone. You see, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I have no idea. We hope we can find more vessels with more scriptures someday. The records we have suggest there were others. Anyway, it wasn't long ago that we discovered ways to make our own technology, and it's all thanks to ancestral records from the vessel. We even have our own ivory source. But before that, we found these divine seeds in the vessels. When we plant them in soil, strange vegetation quickly grows out of the ground. The things that grow have these really pretty round-edged leaves and trunks. Have you ever seen anything like that before? The seeds are gifted uh, gifts handed to us by our ancestors in the afterlife. We decorate our homes with their round leaves as thanks. I wouldn't sit so close. You'll get her ideas. Or catch her stink. Oh, shut up, Samba. What's cooler about the seeds? Put them in pure ivory, and they freak out! You put them in machines, and you're guaranteed to break them. Who knows what we'll be able to do once we've reproduced enough seeds. It's pretty awesome! Let me tell you about the different kinds of plants we've discovered so far from different seeds. Here comes trouble. Whatcha? The one concern has found us. What? We have to act according to protocol. Robin, you're a mechanic. We need you to secure the people necessary for panic mode. You're going to have to swim for the labs lower in the lake. We still have hope if we can amass the people necessary to execute our safety program. Mina, I'll stay behind and distract anyone who comes near here so you can get away. What? No! You can't get, you, get me to leave you behind. That's cute, but Robin would never be trusted by the scientists down there on her own. I need to cover this door up to buy you time. Then you go with Robin. I couldn't live with myself if... Be safe, Mina. Damn it! She should have come with us. Someone else could have covered the water path. Gotta worry sick now. Ugh. She's right, though. You can't do this on your own, since they've never seen you down in the labs. We have to do this now, Robin. I stupidly brought in strangers to town. Maybe this is just my fault, like people say. Who is that pale boy to you, anyway? Oh no! My mother! 
She's from the West. The soldiers will hate her. We have to hurry to the scientists. Nah, mom's gonna be okay. Yeah, it turns out that uh, Mina's mom is a, like everyone else in her civilization, is a huge homophobe. Does not like the idea that uh, Mina and Sama are, are in love. So, yeah. We're gonna find out there's some bad blood there. No love lost between the two. That's okay. Mina's mom is also upset because Mina's dad uh, left. Try that again. There we go. Gotcha.
I should be able to time this right. Come on. There we go. Uh, yes, enemies do respawn in this game. Um, if you leave the the region and come back, they will respawn. Let me show you the power of our seeds on this door. Oh. Well, that's why we can't rely on the seeds to do much more than destroy. Better you make do with these. This came out uh, quite a bit after Cave Story. Cave Story was, uh, you know, early 2000s, I think. It was it was quite a long time ago. This game came out, but I think two years ago only. Mina, you're bringing people from the West down into our labs. Hey, keep your pants on for a second. The living quarters are taken over by the one concern. What? Is that what all that rumbling is caused by then? So why the hell is she here? I swear on my ancestors, she's cool. She's a mechanic, and we're going to activate the safety program. Listen here, mechanic. We've been hunted for being who we are for ages. You call us pirates to give us a negative image. Our numbers have been dwindling, but there aren't many people left in the world or uh, on either front. We're all humans, so just leave any hate to yourself. Our faith promotes pre procreation for the furthering of our people, but it's still furthering all of mankind. Your people just want to get all our ivory sources. That's all it is. Yeah, you don't need to convince her of anything. I said she's with us. Ah, eh, that's just your word, but fine. There's a key I dropped up ahead. It should get you started. A key you dropped? Why didn't you pick it up? Hey, I'm not the one to be questioned here. So Mina's people are obsessed with procreation. We'll get a sense of why later, but that's kind of why they don't like uh, her hooking up with Samba. Can't go that way yet. Uh, yeah, can't go that way yet. Sup, girls. Run everywhere. It's good for you. Have 
YouTube skeptics? I don't know. They're... They just like making as many people as possible. Outrun this fish. Reminds me of that enemy from Super Mario Brothers. Big Bertha. Whoa! I don't think the one concern is even aware we get ivory from these white and blue ivory pustules. A concern always generally uh, generated ivory out of any natural material. Our technology is too primitive to generate a larger gain than lost if we try to do the same, so those pustules are vital to us. Everyone seems to have ivory inherent to its structure, so you can extract some from any known material. It feels unnatural to do that, though. When every ounce of ivory has left a material, it turns to uh, dust. We were gifted these ivory pustules, given to us by our ancestors for care and protection. Fate wants us to thrive and make love. It wants us to survive and multiply. Man and woman together, embraced by the old spirits. Our town is being attacked? Okay, Mina should know how to make use of this. Yeah, they were in Mario 3, I think. I want to pray at the ancestral vessel, but this place is built like crap, constantly changing, and you can't find anything again. remember how to get through. That's right, I have to turn the power on first.
No, oh, that's right, this is just my way back up. Okay. This part's very Super Metroid, I thought. It took me a while to find this. There's some hidden stuff up here. If we come back here, here later, Leticia is here. And she'll want to talk to us. Five till. Okay. For some reason, the electrical maintenance rooms seem to have real lighting problems. Hey, if you're outside, if you're carrying any seeds with you, for the love of the ancestors, be careful with them. These are the ivory power generating rooms, and seeds go nuts inside all concentrated ivory. Good for ruining concern machinery, but it'd be just as effective against us after all. Our town is being attacked? Well, okay, Mina should know how to take use of this. Oh yeah, we're running out of time. Ah, oh, shoot. We got two really big boss fights coming up, too. Um... Well, I, I saved it, so we can come back to this later. Alright. 
okay. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I think we'll continue this next uh, next Thursday. Uh, see what's going to happen, how we're going to fend off the invasion, and uh, whether the agents are, are immortal or not. <laughs> Find out what their weaknesses are. <laughs>